uh, the life issue uh, it is so important. The issue of marriage, uh, I've been asked about on that and even in, in the debates and uh, sometimes when you get 30 seconds or even a minute, sometimes you might not get your message out as clearly as, as you were like. Uh, somebody suggested to me after uh, they had asked me this, and they said, why don't you just, you know, say, uh, look at them and say, look, I've been married for 50 years to the same woman and uh, and leave it at that. <laughs> you know, that's what I think about marriage. It is obviously very sacred. But I still think it's a state issue. I did take the position of not supporting a constitutional amendment. Sometimes I think it's ducking the issue. How long is it going to take to amend the Constitution? And I, I have to resent it that, that we're on the defensive, that we now have to defend the definition of marriage. I mean, why don't we look it up in the dictionary? I mean, how can we get into this debate? What does marriage mean? Well, I, I think most of all history, marriage means, uh, you know, the coming together of a man, a man and woman in, in matrimony. I think it should be a religious ceremony. I don't even like the idea that it's a state licensing process. And that came about just 100 years or so ago in our country for health reasons. We check diseases and, and, and this sort of thing. So that is secondary. But now that we have that, uh, my medical license uh, is no, not any good up here in Iowa or any other state. It's only good in Texas. So there is a strong tradition. Our, our, uh, our driver's license are only good in other states because of an agreement between all the states. So there's a lot of respect for the independence of states. So our licensing is, is done uh, at a local level. This does not mean that if, you're, if homosexual marriages are licensed in one state, that another state has to accept it. It does not mean that. You don't have to. You don't have to have that agreement uh, whatsoever. But uh, I would much rather see that if, if Texas, uh, as a matter of fact, I think it was another Texas law, Roe versus Wade was Texas, but uh, dealing with homosexuality. If, if, if we have a law, I would just deny jurisdiction to the federal courts. They can't come down and rule our, our law is unconstitutional. Uh, does that mean we'll have perfect answers? No, it, it doesn't mean it. But if we resort to the federal government for the perfect answers and allow them to have the jurisdiction, then we get Roe versus Wade. And to me that is one, if not the worst, of all, uh, of all, of all rulings. Not only because of what it did, but also the process. I mean, it was, it was so egregious because it, it, it shouldn't even have been heard. And then when the courts heard it, then they got into the me in medical practice. And then they started legislating what, what a doctor could do in the first three months, the second three months, and the third three months. And uh, I mean, just the whole idea that it overruled a state law at, at the same time it gets into medical legislation. The, the, the whole thing it was, uh, was just, just a mess. Uh, I think other issues like prayer in school could be handled the same way. The, the uh, local schools can make these decisions. Uh, hopefully they would be respectful of, of all individuals. I don't see any, uh, any point uh, in, in a school that's run by the government to go to the mat and fight over uh, our desire to say you know, the Lord's Prayer. You know, that's very important to us, but is that so important that we want to offend people? Uh, it just doesn't seem to have religious values. But it does emphasize the fact that schools probably should never have been taken over by the government. Uh, this, is so easy, this is so easily solved. You know, if you're a homeschooler, are you going to worry about somebody coming in and, and, and regulating what you're teaching your kids? No, it's out of the question. What if you go to a, a, a Christian school? There's no question. You come on the terms of the Christian school. And then you get to read the Bible and say the prayers or do whatever. You can go to Catholic school, Protestant school, or you can go to a secular school. That's what freedom is all about, is making, making those choices and, and giving us these, uh, uh, this permission. But we have gone a long way, and it's both in medical care as well as in education, that we've taken away, and we have allowed it to be taken away, the responsibility from the parents and given to the state. And the state cannot be the parent.